Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. Today I'm going to be painting over this painting. This is one I did in a live video quite a while ago. Oop. And um, never really appealed to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paint over it with a technique that has developed over the over the time. Um, quite excited about this development. It started off um, being um, my paint bomb um, one that I developed, which was where a bit like a uh, Yoga Master bomb um, where you drop a shot of whiskey into a drink of beer and drink um, this was drop a shot of coloured paint into a cup of white paint and then pour. Uh, it's developed. This whole process has developed. And um, some ingenious person, and I'm really sorry, I had no idea who it was that um, did this next step, developed a process where you, uh, well, she used glue um, to stick her colour shot in the bottom of her white cup um, and that seems to create some pretty cool results and then recently I have started seeing uh, MK Michael um, and he has he's actually taken it to another level and he's been doing three inside each like a big one and then two another one inside that one and then another one inside that one and getting quite good success on wing paws and I was like hmm I think it's time to have a go at that so I needed a big container and this um this is a plastic cup and it had a quite a firm edge on it so by cutting it off I give myself a lot of flexibility I like that um, turns out you don't actually need to cut those ones off they're actually quite good as they are um, and I'm not going to glue this down I'm going to blue tack because you all know I like my blue tack so this can be disassembled and cleaned properly reused which I like that idea now as I say I'm repainting over this I have wiped it down with alcohol um, but I'm re-pouring in the very similar colors so if there's silicon still on here and it comes through and shows what's underneath it's not going to cause a big hoo-ha <laughs> a big hoo-ha so similar colors what am I using? I am using the same Viridian here. No. Oh. Deep Turquoise. Go on, get it right. I am using oh, um, Viridian Hue, which I absolutely love this green. It's yummy. Um, I'm going to put a bit of Phthalo Blue, which is looking a little bit thick right now. And I am going to put some silver into this. Uh, and then I'm going to use obviously white on the outside. Obviously. Not obviously, Michelle. It's not obvious to anybody at all. So. Uh, question is, do I put silicon in them or not? And I have no idea where this is focusing. So I apologize if this goes out of focus having to have it quite high to be able to um, to do this um, so I'm actually going to take that back out of there so that I can have some sort of control as to how I pour into this cup so I'm just going to pour down one side down there 
and pull down the other side with the Viridian Hue. Oops, I've just mixed those up. And then... Oh, crikey. That was not intended. But that's okay. It's why you have a packet of tissues sitting around. I've made sure with my packets of tissues that I don't... Um, I, don't, I make sure that I don't have um, ones that have like aloe vera or something embedded into the tissues because you don't want to be adding extra things when you're wiping up a mess. Maybe you just wipe the mess in, really. Um, <laughs> okay, so what I've done is I've now got layered all those colors now i'm going to do a high pour to try and sink it through the silver into the middle who knows what this will turn out like guys let's have a go let's see maybe i'll invent something Maybe I'll just make a mess. Are you willing to fail in your eyes? There's no such thing as failure. Uh, well, there is a such thing as failure. It's quitting before you start. That's what failure is. Let me see. So now I'm going to pour the white around, fill up the cup, and we'll see how, how that goes. Grab my white. And I'm just going to run it down the side just so that I make sure that it doesn't go into the oops, it went in. Um Hmm. All right, so I'm going to pour it as if I was pouring a the wing pour. While I've still got white, I'm going to start the pour like that. Now there's no silicon in this paint guys and I've got it about five inches above and I'm just pouring not wiggling not anything just Pouring. Just pouring. See what gets created here. And stop. Okay. Now you'll see I've got a strip of colour through the middle and then
need to add some more white on the sides. Just allowing that paint to stretch, trying not to let this One of the things that you've got to do when you add paint on both sides like I just did is make sure that one big blob that you've just added doesn't go flowing through the bit that you're trying to just edge. So let's drag that back. A bit. Just letting it run over that way. And then pull it back. Stretching out that colourful wave. Going to get it all covered. Some of you might, if you were to do this, might want to put a layer first before you start pouring. Um, Call a negative space layer. Ah, all that paint has got that I'm picking up off the bottom has got colour in it, and I don't want colour. Just running that paint over the edge. There it goes. All right. So I have it tilted on this angle that, like, the turned round the opposite way of what I poured it. Um, I just quickly washed my hands. Um, makes a big dis difference. And I'm, I'm going to use my big torch for this because it's quite a big canvas. It's got a lot to cover. And this tiny little piddly thing that I bought recently. Yeah, no. So this is just to get rid of the air bubbles mainly. I doubt there's going to be much colour reaction because there was no silicon. So any cells that you see are created from the difference in densities of the paints, but there's not that much going on in there. Um, Just checking the sides to make sure we've got 
paint covering all of it. And I do want to get rid of that little smear that I made earlier. It's just... run it off the side a bit it's almost like this piece of MDF because this is one of the MDF ovals that I cut using the jig um, so if you have if you're new to my channel and you didn't come across that I made myself a jig for my router that cuts ovals and this is made out of a piece of 18 millimeter or I think that's like three quarter inch um plywood no mdf um so this is a homemade board and there's something that's not quite working i'm not sure what it is what does it want to do what does this painting want to do where is my tilt angle Get rid of that line. I didn't like that line. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes, good. Okay. Just going to pour some more white on there and see if it drags this down at all as it runs off yep slippy no that color doesn't seem to want to move Okay. I really like this top area here, this bottom area. Mm. What is it? What does it require? What does it desire? What is it being, not being? What else is required? interesting it's really reminding me of something and I'm not is it one of my paintings it's reminding me of or is it something else no there is a there's something else I'm sorry I'm being really quiet, but there's something I'm not sure about. There's something, there's an energy about this painting. It's kind of 
kind of like it's not finished. Am I looking at it the wrong way? Is there something that's supposed to be on this side? Get that off there. And turn around. No, it's definitely that way. right about this I'm not getting guys There is something that I'm not acknowledging about this painting that needs to be acknowledged and I'm not sure what it is. What's right about it, I'm not getting. Wow. I'm just going to let this dry and see what shows up because I'm getting a definite no when I ask do I need to add anything, do anything, move anything, change anything. So do I need to, when I leave it to dry, do I need to leave it propped up some way? Weird. Weird, 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 weird. Alright guys, I am going to leave it to dry. Come back to you. Oh! Oh! I just realized what it reminds me of. My mum used to have a tile that she used to use for putting pots on. And it had a very similar color and swishy of this part. This bit's, it was actually a, a kingfisher bird. Like a, yeah, anyway, that's good. At least I recognize it. What is it desire to be? I like it. All right, I'm going to get it down, get you down. Show you it close up because it's beautiful close up. Okay, where do I start? Oh, from this, I don't know what it is about what, looking at it through the camera, but it, it almost looks like a peacock feather. There's the stem and the or a ear of wheat or something. Anyway, 
what I want to show you is down in here look at that just the way those colors are blending together come back down here try and get rid of my shadow that's lovely I like that okay I'm going to try this again not on this canvas obviously but I'm going to try that cut thing again and go the other way have the Have the colour on the outside and the white on the inside. Let's see. If that makes a difference. Alright guys, I'm going to leave this to dry. And I'll be back in three, two, one. Alright, here it is. And it really hasn't changed much. <laughs> um, it is looking very, very fantastic, I must say. Um, the, the, because I use the titanium white and not the normal house paint that I use is a negative space it is uber uber shiny um, and yeah um, after I poured this one I did a, another pour which I'm very excited to show you tomorrow that one has come out amazing and yeah, this one is, this one has an energy about it that I've not yet put words to. It is, it's kind of grabbed hold of me and I'm not really sure. I can't put words to it, but it definitely won't be being painted over. That's for sure. Uh, wow. It's, huh. yeah, for once I'm speechless, guys. I, 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 I can't say that I love it. That's the really weird thing. It's, it's so, I can't say I love it, but it's got a hold on me. It's got a hold on me. It's got a hold on me. So, there you go guys, that was definitely an interesting pour and there'll be more with that multi-cup pour style coming your way really soon. I'm quite intrigued to see what I do with that over the next wee while. It's um, definitely creating interesting thought patterns in my brain that's for sure <laughs> so guys thanks so much for joining me here at mickey art i have really really enjoyed um, playing with this thank you to all the people that have developed this process uh, i really don't know who was the first one to take my paint bomb and stick the cup to the bottom and there's so many different themes and rollings of this one. I'm just excited to see how all of us playing and exploring the joys of acrylic pouring here, um, can just open up totally new possibilities. So thank you all, everyone that's contributed to that. And uh, really, what else is possible? How much fun can you have and um, how much magic can you create today that you didn't even know you were capable of? I adore you all. Have fun. Bye-bye.